What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Series 59 2-in-1 figure review. <laughs> So in today's review, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new WWE Elite Series 59 Finn Balor and Miz. And um, to me, these may be the weakest figures in the entire set. I mean, I love Finn Balor to death, and I like this attire and everything, but the body mold choice they chose really drives me up the wall, and we'll get into that later on. And the Miz, I like the attire, but the accessory and the head scan is just freaking dreadful, bro. Like, good lord. Before we get into the review, if you would like to pick up either of these figures, you can do so at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save yourself 10%. I gotta be honest, I'm not as excited for these two figures as I was for Zack Ryder and Kurt Angle yesterday, but I am excited for brand new WWE figures. I, I cannot lie, I am absolutely freaking ready to go. So let's go ahead and crack these bees open. Yeah. Finn Balor and The Miz out of their packaging looking absolutely freaking average. They look average, guys. They don't look anything out of the ordinary, nothing too special. You get some nice paint apps with Finn Balor over here. I love Finn Balor to death. One of my favorite current wrestlers, but I just, I don't know, man. The body mold really, really hurts this figure for me, man. I would love to get this torso redone, and I'd probably do that. You know, I'll replace the torso with a Cody Rhodes style and get it all painted up nicely. Maybe by Showstopper or myself, we'll just have to see. And the Miz over here, I love the attire. I love the freaking figure from the neck down, but this head scan, man. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> So yeah guys, what we're going to do is cover Miz's accessories and then the Miz and then we'll cover Finn Balor's accessories and then F Finn, Finn Balor. So taking a closer look at Finn Balor's accessory. Yeah! So taking a closer look at the Miz's accessory, guys, you can see it is his entrance jacket from WrestleMania 33 where he fought John Cena and Nikki Bella with his wife, Maurice. And this is just terrible. I mean, it's more flexible than you would think. You would think it would be like the Elite 27 Undertaker mold, you know, that's really hard. But this is actually pretty stretchy. Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's flexible and stuff. However, still awful. You know, you couldn't bend his arm or anything. It's way too strong for that. I may come in here and cut the sleeves off or some bullsh. I don't know. Maybe we can fig hack this hoe. We'll just have to see. But, um, you know, uh, if it was cloth or something or like, you know, Sting's interest jacket from the Defining Moments, this would be a freaking epic accessory. But, you know, the way they've molded this is just get it out of my face. So getting into the biz, guys. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, guys. This thing is just awful. I cannot stand that head scan. So we're going we're gonna to do a head swap in this video. I guarantee that. So let's take a zoom in on this awful head. So as you can see, I honestly, I'm going to be real with you guys. I can actually see some of the Miz's, uh, you know, likeness in this head scan. But they just didn't execute it well. I just feel like this is just, uh, it's like the eyes and the eyebrows really throw it off. Like Undisputed Brotherhood said, the 5 o'clock shadow or the beard or whatever is actually on there. But it's not painted. So if somebody went in there and customized that and gave it a five o'clock shadow it may improve the head scan maybe you know repaint this eyebrow or something who knows man you you may be able to do some wonders there but going down in the torso we've seen this you know a hundred times the daniel bryan cm punk style torso uh regular arms black wrist tape i actually like these trunks a lot you got the miz logo there some accent stuff on the back it says miz with the glasses and the grammys and the lights and the everything in there this is something we haven't seen on a Miz figure before. You see the open knee pads, and then the lower legs are like in this black color. I guess that's because his uh, kick pads were taller on the night of WrestleMania 33 or something. That's usually what they do when um, they color the lower legs like that. You got the money in the gray and black on the kick pads. Same kick pads we've seen in the past with the Miz. And that's pretty much it for this figure. See, very, very standard. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. So here we have the Miz up next to some comparisons. I actually used to have uh, more Miz figures, but I actually turned them into custom, so that sucks for this video. We only get two pop sounds. So here we have the new Elite 59 up next to the Elite 11 with the head swap. And what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and pop the uh, this head scan onto this one. So there we go with that head swap there, so you can get a good shot of what that looks like. I don't know, kind of different, you know. I kind of like this a lot. I kind of am digging this a little bit. Maybe if you, I don't know. I feel like now that I'm looking at the head scan, you may be able to, you know, get in there, customize it, make it look nice. But only time will tell with some customizer. But there's that head scan. Let's go ahead and pop them back. 
So uh, I want to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you like when this head scan was over here or do you like the way they are now? Let me know down in the comment section below and I hope I helped some of you guys out knowing now what that head scan looks like on that body. And here's a shot of the new Elite 59 Miz up next to his wife Maurice. You got a shot of the It couple right here. And here's the new Elite 59 Miz with the White Intercontinental Championship. And since the Miz is the Revolutionary Champion on Vindication, here's a shot of the new Miz with the Revolutionary Championship. So taking a closer look at Finn Balor's accessories, guys, here's his demon headdress that we have seen multiple times in the past. We have gotten this literally like five or six times, I believe. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, we've had this multiple times. Same mold, same colors, just red and black. It really reminds me of the Elite 41, you know, the one, uh, it was like our first demon Balor that we got with this same body mold and accessories. It's the exact same thing. Um, not much to cover. You got the tentacle wrist gauntlets that you clip to his thing. I wish they would make these cloth instead of rubber and uh, this soft plastic. I wish that it was, you know, cloth that would look a lot better, make it flow better, better for posing as well. So that pretty much does it for Finn's accessories. So getting into Finn Balor, guys, here is the head scan. As you can see, the demon teeth and paint wrapping around. I'm not a big fan of this head scan. I don't know what it is. It just looks a little bit off to me. I don't know if that's different or if it's, um, I can't tell which head scan that is, being that it is painted there. But I do like that demon teeth. You know, that always looks good. Mattel's always good on the demon paint apps. You see on the chest there, same design. You get all this demon and Balor and King and all that stuff going through. Um, they did skin tone paint this shoulder. You can tell because this is two different colors. I always hate how that happens. This, of course, is the demon attire that he wore the night of Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam 2016 when wrestling was pretty good, you know, just after the draft, and he went on to win the Universal Championship. Love this sleeve. Looks very nice. On the back, he got the eye in there with the scales and stuff looking very cool. I like this a lot. Got the plain black sleeve on this side, just your standard red and black flamey trunks that uh, Finn Balor's team seems to wear all the time. Got more stuff going down his leg here. Demon teeth uh, knee pad right there looking very nice. And then just plain black kick pads. So here we have the new Elite 59 Finn Balor up next to the rest of my Demon Finn Balors. And I believe that's all of them. So as you can see in the middle we have the brand new Elite 59. Right here we have the Elite f f f f f f Elite 41. We got the Elite Network Spotlight from Toys R Us. The Elite SummerSlam. And we have the Elite 46 right here. All four of these are the uh, non-ripped up Demon Ballers. And then we have of course the ripped up one. This is how they should make it every single time. Why can't you Why can't you make it like that every single time? And this is how Mattel thinks that Finn Balor looks. This is the way that they think Finn Balor looks on his torso. Yes! Freaking ridiculous, man. You know for a fact Finn Balor's ripped up, or you wouldn't have made it like this, and you wouldn't have made the ringside exclusive ripped up either. That's freaking ridiculous. Fix it. I know that this may be harder to do, but just learn how to do it, man. Just get it right. And now, I have to finish the review by moving all of these freaking Finn Balors out of the way. And here we have Elite 59 Finn Balor and The Miz up next to the figures that we've already reviewed from this series. Loving the hell out of Zack Ryder and Kurt Angle right now, guys. Just just loving them. But that is going to do it for this 2-in-1 Elite Series 59 figure review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I would honestly give the Finn Balor like a 6 out of 10. I think that the body mold really brings the figure down. If you don't have a Demon Finn Balor already, I recommend getting the Network Spotlight and passing on this one. I would even pay the extra money to make sure you get the Network Spotlight. It's absolutely the best Demon Finn that we have gotten so far. Not that this figure is bad, but I would just recommend the Network Spotlight much more much more. The Miz, I would honestly recommend getting the Elite 53 over this one just because this head scan and accessory is terrible. Um, the Elite 53 Miz actually has a better attire and better head scan, so I would recommend both of those. Then again, if you're a huge Miz and Finn Balor fan, I definitely recommend both of them. You know, you gotta build up your Miz and Finn Balor collections. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review or these figures here today. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. I appreciate you watching this video all the way through if you made it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.